Hello everyone, welcome to Boss Coder Academy's YouTube channel. I am Jasmine and today in this video we will be discussing about an overview of system design. So before moving ahead with the video, let's set an agenda first what the video will comprise of. So we will basically begin with the introduction what is system design and after that we will move ahead by understanding the requirements of system design. Then after this we will discuss high level design, then we will discuss key components of system design and then we will also discuss data flow and use cases. Once all this is done, we will move on to the scalability consideration in system design, then reliability and fault tolerance topic. Next, we will focus on security consideration as well and lastly we will sum up the video. Let's understand system design with a very easy example. Imagine you are opening a new cafe. Now, when you will open a cafe, there will be a lot of customers coming in. Now, what you will need to do is, you will need to have a plan and picture to handle all these customers together. This thing is similar to system design. Thinking about how all part of your cafe can function smoothly and efficiently together to give your customers the best experience. Now, coming back to the tech world, system design is all about figuring out and planning out how different parts of software systems will work together. Now, whether you are building a chat app like WhatsApp, Telegram, etc., or you are building a video streaming platform like YouTube, Netflix, etc., system design helps ensure that all the systems are number one, reliable, second, secure, and number three, scalable. This was an easy explanation of what system design is. Now let's move ahead with the another topic of understanding the requirements. When we talk about system design, there are basically two types of requirements. Number one is functional requirement. Apologies for my writing. And number second is non-functional. Dekho, naam sahi bahut easy lag raha hai. Naam self-explanatory hai. Ki functional kya hota hai, non-functional kya hota hai. But chalo, let's dive deep into it. So when we talk about functional requirements, functional requirements are the core features and functions that a system must deliver in order to satisfy user's need. Now let's understand functional requirement with a very easy example. Suppose we all use apps like Zomato or Swiggy. Okay? Now if we are building a similar app like that, what we need to focus on, we'll first focus on user registration and login. Then we'll check that the user must be able to browse for the restaurants and the uh, menus inside those restaurants. Thirdly, we'll focus on that the user is able to place orders seamlessly through our app. And lastly, what we'll focus on that a user is able to track the order that he has, he or she has ordered. Okay, now when we comprise all these features that we focused on while building an app, these are the functional requirements of the app because these are the basic features that we need to have in an app, in our food delivery app. Because these features make the app efficient and functional. Okay, so this is it for the functional requirement. Now moving on to the next requirement that is the non-functional requirement. When we talk about non-functional requirement, it means how well a system is performing. It is related to the system's performance for it. Like we took the example of Zomato and Swiggy app. Uh, so when we talk about non-functional requirement, it means how well our food delivery app is performing. Like how our app will be able to handle thousands of users smoothly. Non-functional requirements are more towards the system's quality, its performance, and lastly, the user experience because it's a must. Okay, ultimately, app to user use karega. Agar hum uske liye smooth app nahi bana paenge, to our system design will fail ultimately. Non-functional requirements are more about how a system will behave and its standard scalability and reliability of the app. Now, continuing with the same food delivery, uh, food app example, just as a matter and so ka liya tha humne, ab we'll consider what are the non-functional requirements in that? Number first is performance. Second is scalability. Chal chalo, ek saath ek discuss karte hai hai ki kya hoga. Performance mein, when we talk about an app like, um, when we talk about any apps, but idhar hum log sirf idhar food app ka example le rahe hai, to isme jab hum performance ki baat karenge, we need to consider that the app 
should the load time of the app should be under 3 seconds that the user experience is good from the first point of contact got it number first non functional requirement is performance number second is scalability scalability means as the users increases the app should be efficient enough to handle millions of users at one time that multiple users are able to order food at one time and it should not be like that time to order so let's understand non-functional requirement with an example which we have discussed food app we continue so um, we know what functional requirements are but when it comes to non-functional requirement like we already discussed that it's about the system's performance so number first non-functional requirement is performance so when we talk about our app, like Zomato, Swiggy, etc., whatever you want to name it. When we talk about our app, we want that the customer who's using the app should be able to access the app. The app opens under 3 seconds. Matlab, jo load time hai app ka, wo kam hona chahiye. To give a smooth user experience to a new user. Because we as a user get frustrated when anything takes time, especially when it comes to tech. Okay, number first is performance. Second point is scalability. This means that our app should be able to handle high traffic easily like during peak time or during the peak hours like lunch, dinner or festival times. Our app should be able to easily place order for users or the user should be easily able to place orders through our app seamlessly. Kuch usme hang wagera nahi hona chahiye ya kuch errors issues nahi aane chahiye. Number third, number third is reliability. That means our app should be available 99% of the time. This means that the user should be able to order food whenever they want to. Like Zomato, I have to book at night. We do Zomato crash to nahi karta hai because the system design is well built. Number fourth is security. Okay, very major topic currently. When we use any app today, our data app is not going to be So, when we are building our app, for example, this food app, we should be very mindful of the user's data that we are collecting. We have to proper privacy policies and guidelines. Ko bhi se follow kare. So, in simple terms, that the user data that we are collecting should be encrypted to ensure that the payments that are done through our app are secure. This is important. Why? Because this will help us get trust of the users. Users will app ko trust our app and use our app. Simple. So, last requirement in non-functional is usability. Very important because when you use any app, whenever we use any app, we want that the app should be seamless. Easy to use, its interface hona chahiye. The interface of the app should be easy to use. It should be easy to navigate ki, yaar, haan, idhar jaungi, idhar mujhe orders milenge, yahan jaungi to mujhe uh, dining wale options milenge, yahan jaungi to mujhe apni profile dekhne ko milenge, to matlab, all in all that the app should be seamless. The navigation of the app should be very easy for the user so that when a user places an order on our app, it should be effortless. As simple as that. So these were the basic functional and non-functional requirement. That's it for this video. In the next video, we'll discuss high-level design, key components of system design, data flow and use cases, and scalability consideration. If you found this video helpful, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.